welcome back. In today's video, we're going to learn all about the remarkable gray wolf and the unique social structure of a wolf pack. Grab your hiking boots as we explore wolf communications, pack hierarchy, and habitat. Wolf Packs Wolves are highly social and intelligent animals that live in close-knit family groups called packs. Packs typically have 6 to 12 members led by an alpha male and female wolf that make decisions for the group. Packs work together cooperatively to hunt large prey like deer, elk, and bison. By hunting in a coordinated way, wolves can take down prey much larger than themselves. Each wolf has a role in the pack based on a hierarchical social structure. Wolves communicate through complex body language, barks, howls and scent marking. Howling helps the pack stay in contact while hunting and also serves to mark territory. The alpha male and female lead the hunting expeditions and make important decisions for the entire pack. Lower-ranking wolves show submission to the alpha pair as the leaders. Wolf pups are born in the spring and must be trained by adult pack members on how to hunt and survive in the wild. Pups depend on the entire pack to raise them. Lone wolves are typically older wolves that have been driven out of the pack by the alpha pair. They lead challenging solitary lives away from the pack structure. Wolf Habitat Wolves inhabit varied environments across the northern hemisphere including forests, mountains, tundra, and grasslands. They are very adaptable animals. As apex predators, wolves help manage populations of prey like deer, elk, bison, and small mammals like rabbits. This benefits the whole ecosystem. Wolves were once abundant throughout North America but were driven to near extinction in the lower 48 states by hunting, trapping, and habitat loss. Their numbers have rebounded in recent decades. International conservation efforts help protect and reintroduce wolf populations within suitable wilderness habitats and national parks. Ecotourism allows observation of wolves in their natural environments. Wolf social structure and wild behavior is incredibly complex. Next time you hear a wolf howl, think about the close family bonds that unite a pack. Let me know in the comments if you've ever seen or heard wolves in the wild. And don't forget to subscribe for more wildlife videos. Thanks for watching.